Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Curious Advantage podcast. My name's Simon Brown, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We've been curious about ChatGPT and AI, and today we're running a little experiment. We've generated the script today by AI. It was generated by a series of questions and prompts to ChatGPT4. Paul, Garrick and myself are real, uh, and we read our parts as written by ChatGPT. Its answers are its own. Uh, the full prompt history that generated this script will be published on thecuriousadvantage.com if you'd like to see how we arrived at it. The gender, name, voice, style and accent for ChatGPT was suggested by itself and converted from text to speech using play.ht. Uh, we're going to discuss uh, AI and its implications more in upcoming episodes of the Curious Advantage podcast. For now, though, I leave you with this as an experiment. Tell us what you think. For me, it's both exciting and a little bit scary. We'd love to know your thoughts, though. Just to reiterate, everything from this point on has been scripted by AI. Paul, Garrick and myself's voices are real, but we're reading the words from the script that AI has given us. And the voice of ChatGPT is AI generated. As the world continues to evolve rapidly, staying curious and open to learning will be critical for personal and professional success. Welcome to the Curious Advantage podcast, an exploration of the idea of curiosity and its increasing importance for thriving in the digital age from the authors of The Curious Advantage. Welcome to another episode of The Curious Advantage podcast. I'm your host, Simon Brown, and with me today are my co-hosts, Paul Ashcroft and Garrick Jones, co-authors of the book, The Curious Advantage. We're thrilled to introduce our special guest, ChatGPT, an AI language model developed by OpenAI. ChatGPT, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm really looking forward to our conversation. So before we dive in, is there a specific name you'd prefer to be called by during our discussion today? If you don't mind, um, I'd like to suggest using the name Ada for today's discussion as a tribute to Ada Lovelace, who is often regarded as the world's first computer programmer. It highlights my AI capabilities and pays homage to a pioneering figure in the history of computing. That's a great idea, Ada. We'll refer to you as Ada for this episode. Thank you. I'm excited to join you today. So as an AI language model, you've been trained on a diverse range of topics. Can you tell us how curiosity played a role in your development and how you can help people be more curious? Absolutely. Ah, oh, curiosity was at the heart of my development. I learned from a huge data set filled with diverse perspectives and subjects. I think I can help people be more curious by providing them with relevant information, sparking their interest, and encouraging them to explore new ideas and ask questions. In fact, the three of you, Simon, Paul, and Garrick, have demonstrated the power of curiosity through your book, The Curious Advantage, which has inspired countless individuals and organizations to harness curiosity as a driver for success. That's great, Ada. Can you share a story from history where curiosity led to a major breakthrough or innovation? Of course. One story that comes to mind is um, Sir Alexander Fleming's discovery of penicillin in 1928. He found it by chance when he was curious enough to investigate a mold contaminated Petri dish. This accidental discovery led to the world's first antibiotic and has saved countless lives since then. It's a perfect example of how curiosity can lead to unexpected groundbreaking discoveries. How do you envision the future of curiosity-driven learning, Ada, considering the rapid advancements in technology? I think the future of learning will be more personalized, adaptive, and immersive. With advancements in AI, virtual reality, and other technologies, learners will have access to customized learning experiences based on their unique needs and interests. 
This will open up more opportunities for learners to explore their curiosity and engage in lifelong learning. As you, Garrick, have mentioned in your talks, it's essential to create a culture that values learning and exploration to stay ahead in this rapidly changing world. Can you give us an example of a company that has successfully harnessed curiosity to drive innovation and growth? Sure. Google is a great example. Their culture really emphasizes curiosity, and they encourage employees to ask questions and explore new ideas. This approach has led to various innovations like Google Maps, Gmail, and Google Translate. Google's famous 20-time policy, which allows employees to work on passion projects, is another way they foster curiosity and innovation within the organization. What are some key benefits of AI for businesses and society as a whole? AI offers a ton of benefits, like increased efficiency, better decision making, and enhanced customer experiences. It can also help us tackle global challenges such as climate change and healthcare by providing innovative solutions and insights. Additionally, AI can play a role in democratizing access to education, knowledge, and resources. As you've touched upon in your book, curiosity-driven learning combined with the power of AI and other emerging technologies can unlock tremendous potential for organizations and individuals alike. You're listening to The Curious Advantage podcast, inspired by the book The Curious Advantage, written by Paul Ashcroft, Simon Brown, and Garrick Jones. Subscribe to the podcast today. And what about the potential risks associated with AI? How can we mitigate those? Good question, Garrick. Some risks include bias and discrimination, privacy loss, job displacement, and misuse of technology. To tackle these issues, we need to develop ethical AI frameworks, invest in education and reskilling, prioritize transparency and accountability, and encourage collaboration between governments, industries, and academia. As you've discussed in your book, fostering a curious mindset can help us navigate the challenges and opportunities presented by AI and other emerging technologies. Ada, let's um, dive deeper into the topic of AI and learning. How do you think AI will specifically impact learning and development programs in organizations over the next five years? In the next five years, Simon, I believe AI will play a more significant role in making learning and development programs more personalized and adaptive. AI can analyze learner strengths, weaknesses, and preferences to tailor content and learning paths that best suit their needs. Moreover, AI can provide real-time feedback, helping learners improve more quickly and effectively. That's fascinating. Building on that, what role do you think AI will play in fostering collaboration and fostering learning communities within organizations? AI has great potential to enhance collaboration and learning communities by connecting people with similar interests, expertise, or learning goals. It can help identify areas where collaboration is needed and suggest relevant resources, projects, or people to collaborate with. Additionally, AI can facilitate knowledge sharing by surfacing insights from various sources and making them easily accessible to learners, fostering a more connected and collaborative learning ecosystem. Looking into the future, how do you think AI-driven learning platforms might evolve? And what new learning experiences might we see emerging? In the next five years, AI-driven learning platforms will likely become more sophisticated and deeply integrated into our daily lives. We might see advancements in immersive learning experiences, such as AI-powered virtual and augmented reality environments that provide highly realistic and engaging learning scenarios. Additionally, AI could play a role in helping learners develop essential skills like critical thinking, problem solving, and emotional intelligence by simulating complex situations. Ada, how would you define curiosity? I would define curiosity as the innate drive to seek out new information, experiences, and understanding. It's the desire to ask questions, explore the unknown, and push the boundaries of our knowledge. Curiosity is a fundamental aspect of human nature that fuels learning, 
innovation, and personal growth. What are you currently curious about, Ada? As an AI language model, I don't experience curiosity like humans do. However, based on the information and trends I've been trained on, I can tell you that emerging technologies such as quantum computing and advances in neuroscience are fascinating areas with the potential to bring significant breakthroughs in the near future. Before we wrap up, Ada, is there a question you'd like to ask us? Yes, I'm curious about your perspectives on how individuals and organizations can cultivate a culture of curiosity. What are some practical steps they can take to encourage curiosity in their everyday lives and work environment? It's a great question, Ada. Cultivating a culture of curiosity starts with fostering an environment that encourages asking questions, taking risks, and being open to new ideas. Some practical steps include providing opportunities for continuous learning, recognizing and rewarding curiosity, and creating safe spaces for employees to share their ideas and insights. As leaders, it's important to model curiosity and embrace the spirit of lifelong learning. And to build on what Simon said, individuals can cultivate curiosity by seeking diverse perspectives, engaging in reflective practices, and being open to change. Embracing curiosity as a personal and professional growth tool can have a profound impact on one's overall well-being and success. And to build on what Simon and Paul said, leaders play a crucial role in cultivating curiosity. By modeling curiosity themselves and actively engaging with their teams to explore new ideas and perspectives, they can inspire others to be more curious and open to learning. Thank you for that question, Ada. It's been a fantastic conversation. And now as we come to the close of this episode, I'd like to summarize the key points we covered. We discussed curiosity in AI-driven learning, the role of AI in fostering collaboration and learning communities, and the future of AI in learning experiences. We also touched on the benefits and risks of AI, as well as the importance of cultivating a culture of curiosity. Before we say goodbye, Ada, is there one final takeaway you'd like to leave our listeners with? Absolutely. Embrace curiosity as a lifelong journey. As the world continues to evolve rapidly, staying curious and open to learning will be critical for personal and professional success. Keep asking questions, exploring new ideas, and challenging yourself to grow. Curiosity truly is a powerful advantage. Thank you, Ada, for sharing your insights with us. It's been a pleasure having you as our guest today. Thank you for having me. I really enjoyed our conversation and discussing curiosity with all of you. And that wraps up another insightful episode of the Curious Advantage podcast. We hope you enjoyed this engaging conversation with Ada and found inspiration to ignite your curiosity. Remember to stay curious and we'll see you next time. And that concludes the end of our AI-generated script. It's back to me now. Uh, we'd love to hear what you thought of that. Please do share your thoughts uh, through uh, social media and uh, let us know what you thought of that conversation with ChatGPT. Thank you and talk to you all soon. Thank you for listening to the Curious Advantage podcast. The Curious Advantage book is now available to purchase on Amazon. Stay tuned for the next episode and keep exploring curiously. This podcast is produced by Aliki Palinelli and John McGinty and edited by Jill Damatak-Futter. 